Hello, so in this video, I'm going to discuss sampling and sampling distribution. And our objective is to distinguish between parameter and statistic. So let us have some definition. The measurement or quantity that describes the population is called parameter, while the measurement or quantity that describes the sample is the statistic. So let us take a look at the first example. 170,917 sample households were interviewed nationwide for the 2018 Family Income and Expenditure Survey. It was found out that the average family income is 313,000 pesos per year. The average family income, 313,000 pesos, is a statistic. Since it is a property or measurement of the sample. Why is it a sample? Because the 170,917 respondents or household is just a part of the population. These are these uh, portion is just a sample of the population. In addition, this measurement can be called a sample mean since it is the average of all the data of the samples. In the second example, a mathematics teacher found out that the average score of all his students in their third quarter exam is 34 and the standard deviation of the course in one of his classes is 4. So the average score of 34 is called a population mean, hence a parameter, since it describes the population. It is considered parameter because it was taken from a population. On the other side, the standard deviation for is a sample standard deviation, hence a statistic, since it describes the sample. We all know, or if we're going to, uh, if we're going back to the previous example or in the second example, we all know that the standard deviation for came from a single class. It is not the standard deviation of the population, hence it is called its statistic. In order to test the effect of the new drug to humans, 20 patients were given the dose. After a minute, it was found that the body temperature in average decreased by 2 degrees Celsius. Questions Are the 20 patients mentioned population or sample? Is the 2 degrees Celsius decrease in the body temperature considered parameter or statistic? Before we proceed to the evaluation of learning or evaluation or assessment, uh, let us answer first the questions in the previous slide. We all know that the 20 patients are considered sample because those 20 patients are taken or were taken from the population. Second, since the 20 patients were taken at that population, hence the 2 degrees Celsius decrease in the body temperature is considered statistic. Now, in this uh, portion, I'm going to uh, make this as an exercise evaluate, evaluating learning we have to determine if the given subject is population or sample then describes the given quantity as parameter or statistic so let us have the first one okay I'm not going to uh, tell the answer I'm just going to read the average grade of the whole class under uh, some teacher, I guess, is 80 to 15. So, how are we going to consider the whole class? Is it a 
population or sample. Second, average grade 82.15 of this whole class. Second, 50 out of 200 animals in the zoo were taken and checked on their weight. The variance of their weight is 0.5 kilograms. So these 50 animals are considered population or sample. So the variance 50 or 12.5 kilogram sample or uh, parameter or statistic rather. Third, standard deviation of the lifespan of a species endemic in the Philippines is 2.3 years. The species endemic parameter or population or sample, standard deviation, parameter or statistic. Fourth, based on the survey conducted to 1,200 respondents, one out of three Filipinos can't live without cell phones. 1,200 respondents is considered population or sample. One out of three Filipinos can't live without cell phones. Statistic or parameter. And last, based on the U.S. National Hospital Discharge Record in 2010, the average length of stay of patients in U.S. hospitals is 4.8 days. So these patients are considered population or sample. Average stay, is it parameter or statistic? So that is all for this video.